Police are investigating it for thousands of dollars worth of vehicles and tools were stolen from a local business. Yeah, so the suspect caught on camera as well. Yeah, Simone Jameson joins us live from Forest Park after speaking with the owners. Yeah, Trisha Robb, I spoke with two auto repair shop owners here in this plaza who tell me they were both victims of that theft that happened here Saturday morning. They told me a suspect stole a Chevrolet Blazer, a 30 foot trailer that had inside three automobiles and multiple tools. They tell me this has put them thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in the hole. We've been hearing a lots of robberies, trailer thefts, um, equipment thefts. You know, you never think that it would hit you home or nothing like that. Timothy Moss operates the Junk Boss inside this auto repair plaza on Chappelle Lane in Forest Park. One of at least two businesses police say were targeted in a large scale theft Saturday morning. It's in a building. The building is locked. Who digs their way in? Police believe the suspect broke into the building where the vehicles were stored by digging a hole beneath the building and breaking through the back wall. So I'm losing my 90 Blazer, uh, about a 30 foot incline snowmobile trailer with three sleds in there. Two skidoos, yellow in color, and a blue Yamaha Viper. My snowmobiles and, and the cost of all that stuff there too uh, is a big issue. Moss says he caught the thief in the act as he drove the Chevrolet Blazer straight through their front gate, making off with their 30 foot trailer and everything inside of it. Had a high speed chase in a garbage truck, pulling a trailer and got on 275. He jackknifed and then turned around and started going backwards on the expressway. So I had to stop the pursuit from there. Michael Arents, who owns Arents Auto Body, says the theft has had a crippling effect on his business and the people he works with. It's pretty frustrating. It's, it's almost like it's a dream and, you know, I need to wake up. But I woke up and it's still there. And it's a lot of money sitting there, too. Both business owners tell me the theft forced them to pause operations for the weekend and reevaluate their security measures. The young guy that did that, he wasn't no professional. He had the knowledge from somebody else about what was in my garage. Now they're holding out hope that the stolen goods will turn up sooner than later. We still got to go to work. We still got clients that we got contracts with. We still got a fool. We want our stuff back. That's the only way we can make money. And these business owners tell me they're now working with construction companies to repair their fencing as well as this front gate that was damaged when the suspect sped out of here. Anyone with information about this theft incident is asked to contact Forest Park Police. Live in Forest Park, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.